Lauren, what do you think of the abuse that Clem cops? Oh, it's disgusting. I've read some of the things that people say it is. Um, but I also have a gripe with you saying things like kill all men. I don't think that violence toward anybody well, is acceptable. But I'd like to answer to yeah, that. Yeah, well, you actually no. um, joined an online campaign asking for Clem to be fired. <laughs> yeah. Why was that? Um, Clem blatantly defamed a, a dear friend of mine without even having any involvement in the, the online discussion after it was removed and then wrote a post after blocking okay. her, defaming her and saying that people shouldn't go to her for support or advice. All right, we won't go into that specific no. example, um, but Clem, we are going to look at some of the words you've fired back at people in response. Um, we've got some of them on the screen. Um, here's one, all men are scum and must die. Um, another one, how's the struggle to observe your multiple restraining orders going? Um, you have also had to apologise. Uh, what do you say to people that say you give as good as you get? I think that in some cases they're correct. I think that people willfully misunderstand some of the things that I've said. Mm -hmm. I mean, f uh, for a start, I've only ever said kill all men in response to people who say that feminists want all men to die. Mm. It's, so it's a it's joke? It's quite clearly an absurd premise. Two of wrongs course don't make I do right, not. Though. That's can I please thing. finish, Lauren? If you're going to make course, sense, can it'll I be logical, finish? then you can. We'll go to you in a sec, Lauren. Can I Later. Can I yeah, can I please a, just yep, finish? One, two, course, yep, Clem first. Of course it's an absurd premise. The idea that feminism is about man-hating has been one of the central opp oppositions and central points of humour for people within the feminist movement. But you know it's provocative, thing, right? It, of course it's provocative. The other so thing why, that I've why provoke? always done, though, is that I've always done it publicly. I've done it publicly because I'm not. it's not something that I'm hiding behind closed doors. And to say, well, why provoke when actually oftentimes it's done... It's using humour as defence because I don't just go to someone's account and say that. Mm. I say that in direct response to them suggesting that my feminist views can all be boiled down to the fact that as a feminist, and of course as an ugly feminist, all I want is mm. all men to die. I mean, that's absurd. I want a better world for everyone, and that includes for men too. Okay, Lauren? Didn't you tweet things specifically about Daisy while she was already on the Q&A panel talking Things, things, I tweeted things. that Daisy, I didn't agree with what Daisy was saying you, and I didn't think she was very smart. Daisy, you, how did you, you take you, it? Way to the realm you of ad hominem as well. After but ad hominem is different to <laughs> No, it's, to it's personal. Saying, it's not Daisy, the let's go to Daisy. Saying, I'd like to know right. how it made you feel. What did right. Clem say and how did it make you feel? Um, well, just on the, top, on the topic of sort of online abuse that women um, receive, I, I receive a lot of it too. 75% of it, I would say, comes from women who are feminists. And... Uh, Quite a few from you, Clemmy, I believe over a two month period. It wasn't just February 6th when I was on Q&A. It went on for a little while, so that it got particularly bad in March over an article that I wrote about the late great Bill Leak, <coughs> where you set your 70,000 Twitter followers on me along with Dee Madigan and made comments on everything to my appearance, to my upbringing. I never you. commented on your appearance. You didn't? I believe that of the two of us, it's only been you who's commented on I your rebuttal, though. As, as a, a rebuttal, rebuttal after, as, a, as, a, as a retaletation so, after so two months. So me commenting on... Can I just on finish, please? No. Yeah, let, let's okay, go, Daisy. Um, look... <clears throat> It's okay if we disagree with each other. That that's that's well, fine. Well, that's that's, that's the spice of that's, life. That's that's the spice of life. But the you have not once ever attacked my argument ever. Can not I ask what this is going to do with male privilege? Well, <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. Let's just finish this off. It's protocol. It's protocol. Thank you very much, Joe. <laughs> I did, and I will admit this, I did retaliate after two months of it because I, I, got, I got sick of it, that was nasty. And I would like to apologise for that. I would not ordinarily make that comment about anyone. So cute. But I was angry. <laughs> Super cute. And I was justifiably angry. Olivia. Because Hug. the, reason, the yeah. reason I find that I and other conservative women do cop this kind of abuse specifically from feminists, left-wing feminists, and are defended, but for the most part, by men, actually, is because feminists, I don't think, can tolerate women who disagree with them. And while you talk about wanting more female voices in the public realm, wanting more female voices in positions of power, it seems to me, particularly with the way you've spoken about, say, um, esteemed conservative journalist Rita Panahi, you said, uh, no matter how hard she tries, she'll never be a white male. And uh, some rather nasty things you've called Miranda Devine as well, uh, profanities that I won't say on this program. I call I her yeah. Whoa, there it is. I think, <laughs> that, um, I, think that just perhaps, I think perhaps my point is you only want women up there who agree with you. That's not true. It's not that I only want women up there who then agree with you. Why do you make... Why, do you, why have you never attacked my argument, on, Clementine? 
But I have attacked your own. When? I've criticised I've criticised the things that you write about. One of the reasons why I hated your Bill Leak piece so much was because you proudly set yourself out as someone who takes pride in trolling people on the internet. In but don't you as well? In, in, what, in what way did I troll people well, by writing a tribute article to Bill Leake? I wrote a very You said sweet... that you considered yourself to be a provocateur who took pride in triggering snowflakes on the internet. All right, guys, you, you guys, don't take, you don't I think we're going to have to leave it there. I I think know, we've gone pretty deep into this, as, as Joe pointed out. Do. Guys, I felt like we were making a little bit of progress there, but we're going deep <laughs> into we, we have heaven here, as Joe pointed out. Please. Later. Very happy yeah. to chat. We might carry this on afterwards. You are watching um, oh, Hack nice. Live. Plenty of reactions <laughs> coming in uh, online as well. Um, Kane says, of course, as male privilege, girls always expect the man to pay for dates. <laughs> uh, another person on the text line says, can we stop calling it privilege? and just call it circumstance. And Joel says, men say life is hard being a man. Women say life is hard being a woman. What if life is just hard? There you go. Wow. Now, as you can see from our panel tonight...